I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this week's video in the free math worksheet series uh, to accompany the worksheets on plus nine. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the worksheet first. The first of the worksheets, if you look at it, you'll see that the number facts are in pairs. So we focus on adding 10 for the first one of each pair and then the same number added to nine. So the first example is seven plus 10 followed by seven plus nine. Then we have six plus 10, six plus nine, and so on. Uh, the second set has the same idea, but it's turned around the other way. So we have 10 plus a number followed by nine plus, then 10 plus, then nine plus, and so on. Adding nine is not that hard. Of course, it's because nine is almost 10, and adding 10 is a fairly straightforward place value question that your student shouldn't have too much trouble with this. So here's an example. Uh, we're adding 10 plus seven. And of course, as I said, that's a nice easy place value question. 10 plus 7 is 17. What would it be if we added 9 plus 7? If we take one of the counters away, clearly we've got one less than we had before, and that is 16. An alternative way of looking at it is if we don't start with 10, we just start with the 9 and say, OK, let's use another colour. 9 plus 7, what's that going to be? If we were to move one of these counters from here, you can see, you can almost say the nine wants to be 10. It needs just one more and it'll be 10. So if we move one to there, we draw a little arrow there. Now we have 10 on this side. How many do we have here? Obviously we have six. So the answer to both those questions will be the same. So in this case, we haven't removed any counters. They're both the same number. We've just rearranged them. Okay, that's all there is to it. Nine times is not all that difficult. So I hope this uh, video has helped and I look forward to talking to you next time.